the title of it, again, was called The Struggle. Uh, and, uh, and so I'm happy to share it with you all today. So it goes, um, these plant closings keep going down, town after town. You know, these corporations, they just ain't fooling around. Can you hear the sound of that last closing bell ringing? Because the fat woman has been singing farewell to Kimberly Clark, Ethan Allen, Book Press, Stanley Tools, and so many more that are going down because of these free trade rules. Stanley Tools, who played Vermonters like fools. We made him money for 96 years. Shaftesbury was Stanley's most profitable plant in the Northern Hemisphere. And they go to China and leave us in tears. Folks be poaching deer to put food on the table, and the strong and the able have no means as a result of these free market schemes, these nightmares that were American dreams, where the many struggle for bread, but you bet you the few got their cream. Doesn't it steam you that last year, IBM's CEO, Sam Palmisano, had a $70 million payoff, and now they're talking about another IBM layoff. Friends, this is way off. We try to form unions, our own organizations, and we're met with brutalization. Corporations are against civilization. So let's ask the question, why is our economy run as private tyrannies when we're supposed to live in a democracy? We can still remember that word, right? Democracy, when it works for you, and it works for me, and it works for us, and we means we. Because if we keep letting this Wall Street crowd do the math, they'll have us all working in retail sales as cashiers or wait staff, and we don't want that to be our epitaph. As we feel the wrath of corporate power, and folks are trying to get by on 625 an hour in this shower of injustice, this tidal wave of greed, when corporate profits come before human need, we can read the writing on the wall. And even though right now our victories are small, we're beginning to understand that an injury to one is an injury to all. We're beginning to learn that solidarity is more than a word, and we can feel it in our bones. And as this movement grows, we go out in the streets, knock on doors, and pick up phones, and no matter our skin tones, sexual orientation, gender, or religion, together, Workers United, you know it, we can win.